What's up, guys? Look, it's morning time. Uh, we're headed over there, guys. We're headed over there. Now, I only live four minutes away, but you know from my first video that I like to be early. I told him seven. You know, their guys, he said their guys get there at six. There's no daylight at six, you know? So, I told him seven. Let them get settled in, and then we'll get there and start doing some real man's work. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, it's bright. Look at there. Look at there. Oh, we just cut it down to not bright. <clears throat> Neat. So we're gonna go weld this up, guys. We're Well, we're gonna do some grinding today. There's lots of grinding involved, as you know. Listen, if you wanna start a welding company, just get really good with a grinder. You're most of the way there, 90%. <laughs> so we're gonna be grinding. I did some cuts yesterday with the, <laughs> this cheap plastic cutter, and it cut really good. But, you know, obviously I suck at cutting it, you know, when it's been a while. I got some straight lines in there. Luckily, it wasn't too off. Got to do some grinding. Got to do some setting up. I don't have a lot of room on my phone. I'll probably have to delete some older video or something that I just I haven't edited yet. But anyway, this is the job at the warehouse. We're going to go tear it up. We're going to go get her welded up. Man, it is a beautiful day out, too. By the way, I don't know if y'all can see that. Probably not. The sky's pink. Oh, man, the sun's just coming up over there. Over that hill. Right? Oh. I love mornings, man. I just love mornings. And woman. <laughs> There's like one woman that used to watch these videos back before I disappeared for eight months without an explanation and still haven't given one. <laughs> All right, guys, we are here. Let me get set up and see where I need to go and blah, blah, blah. All right, guys, here we are. You can see I got the steel set out. I got all my stuffs here. Obviously, they parked something beside here. They wanted to make it a little harder on me, but that's okay. I'll just start a fire and then they'll move it. It's wood. All right, so. <laughs> uh. Here's a little example of what I was talking about, right? I'm in there, I gotta come back to the truck to get knee pads, cause I'm on my knees, boys. <laughs> it's gonna be the last time today. <laughs> I had to get some knee pads and I forgot, man, somebody started talking to me, right? Threw my train of thought off and I forgot what I was needing. I was staring at my bucket, bucket buckets and I was just like, whatever. So here's a pro tip, when you forget, you can't think of what you need from the truck, just start walking towards the truck. And then it came to me. Maybe when you look inside the truck, you'll see what you need. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm in there. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to set up a tripod, guys. I don't know if I'm going to get away with that or not. We'll see. All right, guys, if you can hear me, this is about the best I can do without getting other people in the shot. So here we go. Well guys, I'm gonna be straight up with you. I'm glad I got that lead because I tried to use their their power with the little bastard and it's got this ground fault plugged in. It's the only plug they have out here close by anywhere. So I tripped it a couple times. So I had to break out the monster. Whoa, had to break out the monster and the lead and it's only gonna take 50 because I got the whip on the end. I just used the, uh, my little bastard uh, leads on the end so that 50 foot comes from that doorway right back there where my truck is parked over to about right here maybe a little longer yeah we can get it a little longer than that look at there plenty of lead plenty of lead all right so I got to grind it down I got me a place right there I'm gonna put me up a little uh, fix my own ground up there a little bit weld it up there right there out of the way that way we can get this done with it's gonna be another couple hours of work no big deal about lunchtime I'll go drill the holes with the mag drill in my pieces maybe grind those down get them right but let's uh 
stroll out the rest of this lead and at least get some of the some of this welded up <laughs> what's up guys well spoiler alert the monster does she weld jerry <laughs> Yes, she does. I don't know if I'll show you the other video before that, but I got my lead stretched out. Let's look at these this weld. All right. So obviously I haven't knocked the slag off yet, but I welded around the base. We got to scoot it over as far as we could. Now there was a gap right there I had to fill because it was all dented, all the shit. And there's a a bottom gap. You can see where I stopped welding right there, and there's just a gap right there that I can't get to because I can't even see it. So once I put the plates on, though. Uh, you won't even be able to tell. Guys, I'm gonna get this grinded down. Give me a little bite to eat first. Get this grinded down and then see if we can uh, go cut some holes, get the things grinded down and set. And then I'm gonna go home. Uh, my son's going out of town. I'm gonna say bye to him and then then uh, I'm gonna cut those holes through the plate and then bring it back and weld her up, man. I'll be gone. I'm gone with this place. Wow, guys, check it out. Vivor came through again. The Vivor. What is it? BRM? Does that say Ram 35? Oh, no. It just says BRM 35. I thought, damn, it is. It is a Ram. I don't think any of these numbers are right. Because that's not the one I ordered, but I got a higher wattage. I think I ordered like 900. I got 1100. I think they're full of shit. Anyway, guys, it drilled through two quarter inch pieces of steel welded together. Now... Here's the thing, halfway through, when these little pegs fall that come out, halfway through, you're gonna get one, you're gonna feel it pop through. You're gonna wanna take that out before you can go any further, where it won't go through the through the full, especially when you got this pin in, beep, beep, the oil pin. Uh, it won't go through. Now I'm gonna burr that out, whatever. Uh, here is another tip, okay? I got myself a half inch, masonry bit concrete bit right all right i got half inch uh anchor bolts okay so you would think oh i gotta drill this hole half inch boys well that's a no <laughs> if i would have drilled that half inch none of this stuff would have fit now i've got plenty of room look for all that okay for the for the masonry bit especially look now it's got plenty of room to get down in there. One more thing while we're here. With these annular bits and with this, this is just another tip. I know you guys, most of you guys know, most of you guys know all about safety, wear your gaggles, blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing, guys. This little oiler that came with mine, it's pretty much shit. It gets oil down in there, but it drips the whole time. I put a little oil in there, but I use this, this little pipette thing. And I got a little bottle here with oil in it. And I just sit there and just constantly feel that thing full of oil. I lift it up, put a little oil down in that hole, put it back down. Damn, damn. That'll keep your bits lasting a long ass time, man. A long time. And they'll just keep cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting. Keep that oil in there, keep them cool. All right.
guys. This is what I call duty cycle. It's 100%. 100%. That mo I was uh, welding there for fucking at least at least a good 30 minutes. I don't know. I have to check out the video to see. Uh, but let me show you what I did, guys. All right. Pardon the music. It's not mine. It's a decent song, though. First came over, welded on a uh, ground tab. I'll easily break that off with my foot. Probably right now. I don't. I don't think I'm doing any more welding. There it goes. All right. Check this out, guys. This has still got the slag on it. Obviously, I'll knock it off and let you look at it. But as you can see, those little gaps I left in the gussets help me out because I welded all the way around. I welded the gussets on before. I welded the plate together and the reason I did that is so that way before I welded any of this around the plate so that way it wouldn't uh, warp it off the gussets would keep it from warping it would hold to the wall or hold to the pole and hold to the to the plate so I, I welded all the gussets on first and then I welded the plate together and then welded around as you can see in the video so now I'm gonna see how this uh, Bauer drill does. Right, guys there we go it's anchored down and everything I got to cut off the top of the bolts if you want to see my welds I'll uh, I guess I'll get a wire brush to clean it up Jesus Christ <laughs> all right guys here we go now uh, yeah. we'll get down here sit down all right I rounded off all the edges on the come on now on the bolts there's my welds not all of them are pretty I had to actually use uh, 
Texas TIG there. You can see there's some holes. Right, but there was big giant gaps there. Right? But it's all right. See, there we go. Let's take a look at some of these welds. I Texas TIG action. I'm going to use some of the old weld to help me out. But it is what it is. All right, let's do this. That's a good little bit over 50 feet. And uh, here's cleanup time, guys. Jeez, that's the suckiest part. But with the buckets, you just kind of clean up tomorrow. You throw everything in the bucket, throw it in the truck, and leave. <laughs> uh, let's get out of here. Oh, all right, guys. I'm about to go into this house. Look, charged them for eight hours. I was there for six, six and a half, maybe. Anyway, yeah, it's time to go in and eat, like, a lot of food. So that's one job down. They said they got some more work for me to do later, blah, blah, blah. Getting paid, dog. We're going to the horse farm tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow.